What's up guys, Sim Football Critic here with a real, real quick video. Just want to take a look at the player movement here, and this is something that I want to see improve in Madden 15 and beyond. You hear me talk about, you know, players staying still or flat-footed a lot, and I don't think that should ever happen on any side of the ball, whether it's offense or defense. And what you're going to see here, you're going to actually see me take control of uh, Lawrence Timmons, and I just want to show you how I feel like players should move. You know, they should always be moving, watching the ball, you know, pursuing the ball, anticipating, trying to diagnose what's happening on the field. And you're going to see, you know, see that happen here manually as I'm controlling Lawrence Timmons, number 94. But I also want you to pay attention to number 95, who is Jarvis Jones. And you're going to see several times that, you know, he stops and he goes flat footed. But you can clearly see that one guy is playing the ball you know, moving, continuing to move where another guy is basically stopping here and there. And, you know, this is just a perfect example. You know, I was happy that I was actually able to make the play here. And, you know, it kind of caught my eye. I went into replay. And I was like, oh, OK. Now, this is what I would love to see the CPU control players do as well. You know, both DBs and linebackers or what have you. And like I said, even on offense, you know, even receivers, you want to see them continuing to move and trying to work to get open. So just a quick video, guys, showing you what, you know, what I would hope to see in Madden 15 and beyond. Let me know what you think. Don't forget guys, every Thursday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, Sim Standard Radio. If you want to give us a call, you can reach us at 914-338-0794.